G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. Um, this one's a little bit of a different video, uh, not related to footy. I guess it's just an opportunity to talk to you a little bit about um, the things happening in my life and the impact that it's going to have on this channel. I like to think it's a positive impact, so uh, no need to be concerned if you even care. So yeah, um, the other day in the podcast, I um, revealed for the first time. And the reason I'm doing a separate video is because I know not everyone watches the podcast, let alone all the way to the end. I revealed in that podcast that um, my life is about to change very drastically. I have quit my job um, at Bunnings, which has been a wonderful seven and a half years at that place. Um, quit my job and I'm packing up my life and I'm moving to the UK. Um, as I said in the podcast, don't get it twisted. I'm not following Drewsy there. We're not even going to the same part of the country. Um, but yeah, I guess... I've been in Australia for 10 years now, for, for those who don't know, I grew up overseas um, and as a 29 year old guy with um, I guess no no relationship keeping me here, um, some family here of course but I'm, I've got family in other parts of the world as well. Um, when you get to this sort of age in Perth, I mean, it feels like a lot of my friends have sort of gone off and doing their own things. Some of them are moving to England as well, again, separate to me. Um, but, they're, you know, they're married, they're moving away, starting to have kids. Um, and meanwhile, I'm just this juvenile 29-year-old who, if I had just had to sum it up simply, um, I've run out of things to do in Perth a little bit. And it's been a big year in terms of soul searching. I did go to Europe last year. Um, and that was where I sort of got a taste of, of London in particular, where my friends live. To sum it up briefly, it's just a much more exciting place for someone my age, uh, to be honest. So I've decided I'm just packing up Perth. I'll come back to it eventually and uh, got to move to the UK. And originally I was just going to get a job there in marketing. I finished uni a few years ago. Uh, I studied law and, and marketing. Um, but the, the idea of that has kind of shifted now and it's going to sort of just be a working holiday where I um, you know, don't get a job straight away, whereas... You know, if I got a job straight away, I wouldn't be able to travel as much as I'd want to. I'd just be based in England. So the next few weeks and months are going to be kind of crazy for me. So the, the current plan is I'm getting my wisdom teeth out. So I'm going to miss a week of content on the channel. Sorry. I'm going to America for about three and a half weeks to see my sister. That's where she lives. I'm going to do New York, etc., and stuff like that. I'm then going to Portugal on holiday for a week or so. And then I'm going to finally settle in England. And I, to be honest, the, the exact place in England is still up in the air. I need to finalize that with some mates and stuff like that. But the impact that the, the impact that's going to have on the channel is, is quite obvious. Obviously, I'm not going to be in Australia. Um, so, you know, I'm going to my last Eagles game ever in round four. That's dramatic. I will go to another Eagles game in my life. But that is the last one this year. The one and only game I'll get to go to. But my current plan is to, you know, keep making true footy videos because I'm going to be free. I'm going to need a job. Um, and to some extent, True Footy is a source of income for me. And, and the current plan now is to, to do this as my job um, for the next few months. So I'm actually hoping in some bizarre way that this will have a really positive impact on the channel. Yes, I'll have to stay up late or get up early to watch some games. Um, but I've, I've done that before. I've lived overseas. To be honest, I'm going to be doing that anyway. I'm a diehard Eagles fan. And True Footy for, you know, at least the next few months, at the very least... Uh, is going to be my job. So hopefully I'll be able to upload more. I'm going to be able to focus more attention on this. The The story with, with True Footy was, it's kind of like through 2021, I kind of threw everything at this channel a little bit, at least in terms of how hard I worked. Maybe I could have done things smarter, I don't know. But worked four days a week at Bunnings. Spent pretty much every other moment I could either here in in this room right here, editing, writing content, uploading, all of that stuff. Finished the year in 2021, and as as well as that year went in terms of growth, like I felt very much so that the effort didn't quite match what the reward was in terms of bringing the channel to a point where I wanted it to to become my career eventually. So, at the start of 22, accepted a promotion at work, and I just haven't had the time to do this. At least it's not the standard I want. And to be honest, my mental health kind of dipped up and down for a variety of reasons. And so, I like if you remember that through 2022. I just went massive periods without uploading anything. And there have been several times where I've deleted my YouTube studio app with the intention of never opening it again. So I've been a mess the last couple of years. It's been it's been up and down. I'm doing fine now. I'm actually doing really well. But yeah, long story short, just lost a bit of interest and in, I guess belief that this channel would really become what I once wanted it to become. And I don't know if I have that belief yet, but at the very least, this is going to be my sole focus in and amongst some travel while I'm away. I'm going to be regular. I'm going to potentially focus on some business opportunities for the channel so that it becomes a potential business. 
I don't know. I haven't really worked that far ahead yet, but all I know is packing up my life and I'm buggering off to, to England, America, Europe for a little while. And, um, we'll still be talking about football with you. So while, you know, there's, there's going to be some travel, I do intend to take this channel very seriously. Um, and, and pay the attention that it, uh, you know, probably deserves and, and also the attention that is required for it to become something meaningful. And with that, I'm probably going to need some help. So this is where I kind of sort of put it to you guys and see if, if you guys are in a position to help me get true footy to where it needs to be. So for the first time, I am interested in, you know, potentially someone to do a bit of a, a rebrand for the channel, in particular the logo. Needs a new lo logo, needs a facelift, maybe some sort of intro graphic um, for the video so they look a little bit more professional at the moment. It's just some some dopey ass looking guy in his bedroom. Um, in particular, maybe like someone who can edit things for me. And I don't necessarily mean the, the, the videos that I put out on YouTube, but in particular, someone who can edit the, the videos that I produce and uh, help me put them out on other channels like Instagram um, and TikTok in particular, because I just don't have time or energy to do everything I need to do to let this grow as much as it needs to. So if you or somebody you know um, has a bit of a background in graphic design, um, potentially someone who likes footy as well so that they can sort of come up with some new branding for the channel and then someone potentially with editing skills and prowess as well. It doesn't have to be, you know, amazing, um, but I'm, I'm willing to pay someone for that as well. So the best way to contact me is probably through my email address. Um, it's truefootypodcast at gmail. I'll put that in the description of this video. Um, Instagram, it, it gets a little lost sometimes as well so i'd appreciate any help i can get on that and there's also another element to this guys i'm thinking about the the evolution of this channel and one step is that it's going to become more of a bit of a platform where multiple creators can contribute to it i don't know if you're aware of the blue abroad uh, model but they do it really really well we'll start small at the moment uh, druzy is now becoming a part of true footy and he will be uploading videos for the channel exclusively. I'm gonna pay him for that. He's got his other, you know, hustles. I would say side hustle, but his business is now his primary focus, but he's still gonna be an AFL YouTuber for True Footy. I've got a couple of other talented people uh, in mind as well that I'm potentially gonna hit up as well. So this can become a bit more of a, a platform rather than you guys just seeing my face all the time. So yeah, a new era of True Footy, and it's gonna be quite ironic if this becomes a genuine success while I'm not located in Australia, I'll be in England. Um, they'll be quite funny. What happens after that, I don't know. I have never been this unsure about my future, um, but it's exciting and I'm kind of looking forward to that. I've lived so relentlessly in my comfort zone for the last however many years, probably more than two. Um, so I'm going to shake things up and hopefully that will mean something good for the channel as well. Um, videos might be a little bit different from now. I'm going to be on, on location. Um, but I'm going to give it a good red hot crack. And you can be rest assured I'm going to be more consistent this year because I, I need to be. Because if I don't upload videos, I will not eat, um, which is the first time I've been in that position. So anyway, guys, that's just a bit of an update as to what, what's happening in my life, the effect it's going to have on the channel. And um, hopefully, like I said, it will be fruitful and uh, you'll be able to see better content, more varied content um, and, and more regular as well. So. Thanks for tuning in anyway. Um, I appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Now I really need really need some growth, really need people to get behind the channel, if you want to, obviously, only if you believe in it. But yes, thank you for your time, guys. Um, I'm, I'm here for another six weeks or so before I jet off to America, so I'll keep you in the loop um, with some teeth out in a couple of weeks or in about eight days. So I probably can't upload videos during that period, but um, either way, I'll be back not long after that. So thanks for the support, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.